Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flitter Mouse. Today we're going to be testing out Seismic Ammo's Quake Maker 12 gauge slugs. And these are a slug I never heard of and I doubt you ever heard of before either. While most 12 gauge slugs are only one ounce, these things are two and a half ounces, making them the world's heaviest slug to date. On my scale, I read 2.6 ounces. You're getting more for the money there. That's 1137 grains and will deliver 2779 foot-pounds of energy. These are even heavier than Nick Ross's Tsar Bomba slugs, the Russian design that weighed in at about 1050 grains. And here we see the size comparison with a 45 ACP. That's a big slug. Right, hello everyone, Bullseye Brianna here. Welcome back. Today we are going to be shooting the Seismic High Mass Ammunition slug. It is two and a half ounces. So we'll see how this baby holds up today. And according to them, heavier hits harder. So we will see if it hits the target harder or my shoulder harder. <laughs> we don't know. We also have some law enforcement 12 gauge ammunition that we were going to shoot to compare the difference of the impact it causes compared to something like this and what just a regular old 12 gauge does to a target. And so if you are watching this and you've sent these in to Jeff, please let us know because he forgot. I didn't forget. I can't, can't read his writing. I can't read the handwriting. I can't write his handwriting. I've spent like a day going through like my Patreon messages and Facebook messages and emails trying to remember who sent that. And so I can't read know. his, he had to throw a little note in there. I can read most of the note, but it, not his signature. So let us know if this gift was from you so we can thank you. <laughs> yes. So. And we have a guest shooter today. Yeah. My sister's back. <laughs> she happens to not be flying anywhere Hi. today. <laughs> so okay, <bye. laughs> she's gonna shoot this with me. <laughs> she does pretty well. She did really well before too. You know, you yeah. both did really All well. Right, so first shot, we're gonna do it through a full rifling. So we'll see how this slug flies through the air. You're supposed to look at that camera, but that's okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're not that professional. <laughs> You tried. I have used this gun before. <laughs> you broke it. There it went. There it went. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> now this may be at first, as we've never knocked the target stand over with anything we shot at. And we definitely have never broken the target stand. But I think that really embodies the power of these slugs. That's a 3 8 inch AR500 steel plate there, or about 10 millimeters thick, flexing around like it's made out of rubber. Absolutely impressive. Is your shoulder okay? Yes, it's okay. I can shoot a couple more, but... Okay, these aren't something you want to shoot all day, no, I think. Definitely. I do think maybe heavier does hit harder. <laughs> um, it definitely breaks... Uh, since the target came off. It broke so the welds on it. That I'm sure that hurt. My shoulder hurts a little bit, but... We have our wad. And we have some lead. Yep. From the ground. Lots of lead. That was very cool though. But what's your reaction about it? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> and a little ow. <laughs> but are you afraid to shoot more of them? No, I'll shoot a couple more. Okay, good. That was like okay, if it's this may be the shortest video in the world, you know, after one, one shot, shot she called <laughs> threw in the towel. Nope. No. Now that I know what to expect, maybe it won't be as bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's find something else to shoot at. Hi, I'm Jamie, and second round, still going through rifling. So, but all the and you're left-handed. Yes, I'm left-handed. And you're very uh, quiet. So. <laughs> yeah, I am. Sorry. <laughs> so she's gonna give it a try. We'll see if she's more accurate than her sister. Probably not. She's bullseye brief for a reason. <laughs> oh, okay, but you do well, great. You know, you did great before, and you were shooting at the lead plate. Mm -hmm. It's about ten yards away. Yeah. And one little spot there that hasn't been hit yet. And we'll see what these do, because I'm kind of curious. Nice. You broke the table! <laughs> Just kidding. You just break everything. <laughs> how was it? Well, how's the shoulder? Oof! You definitely <laughs> feel it, but... 
It's doable. Holy <laughs> cow! <laughs> <laughs> Using full rifling, Jamie did quite well with this. Pretty good considering we didn't give her any practice shots at all, as normal. Now I thought there was a pretty good chance of this penetrating their lead plate, but not today. So it hit just a little high left of where I was supposed to, but, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. but it didn't make Is a hole all? or anything, so <laughs> the lead's probably in there, so not too bad. It but kind of fused in there, and flip it around if you don't mind, and we do have. It did not go through, no. but that's a lot, that's a big crater there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we are gonna shoot a one ounce normal, the federal plug, uh, compare it to the two and a half ounce. You can already feel the difference. <laughs> so much lighter. Yeah, isn't it? It's like it's made out of styrofoam or something. Yeah, so we're gonna see the difference. It's definitely but not gonna hurt. <laughs> we're gonna use a smooth bore this time. Yes, smooth bore, not the rifle, so yeah. See how it does. See how it does. We're gonna shoot at, it's not Brandon, because like three people on the internet yeah. got amid, offended that we call it Brandon, so we're just gonna call him G.I. Joe. Yep, shooting at G.I. Joe, right in the vest. <laughs> Every we're time. breaking the table, Jamie. I know. <laughs> Now Jamie never shot this gun before and using just iron sights she did incredibly well right on the X. So we know she can shoot. Yeah. Right on point. So I'm talking about. Yeah, hardly felt that one. <laughs> I bet, I bet. It was like nothing compared to the two and a half ounce. Now I'm gonna shoot the two and a half ounce seismic one to through the smooth bore to see how it compares to the normal slug. So we're gonna find out if it flies straight or not. <laughs> I think it went high. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that second one. Now it's just my theory, but I think that because these things are just so heavy and the recoil is so heavy, we're seeing a lot of barrel snap especially with the lighter smoothbore shotgun. <laughs> now it's Brianna's turn. <laughs> I think Jamie, that was it for her. Yeah, we'll see if I can. <laughs> we did put the little butt pad on there to cushion <laughs> it a little nervous, bit. Because after two, you're done, so now I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Good luck, have fun. And we just have to get one more through the smoothbore and then we'll go back to full rifling. All right, we can do this. Okay. <laughs> Kind of hold it, force it down, or, or hold it from I below. I can't see the sights. Though. I know, but maybe hold it down here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like pull down. Well, I don't know if that would help the recoil. It'll help I think if it helps if the, if the if I have my I'm thinking here, it's when it's more. recoiling, it's going like this. So if you, that might mitigate some of the recoil. And if it's if it's shooting up high, it's going to make the the slug tip up. Maybe. And shoot up. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what the Russians do. That was even higher than mine. <laughs> Did I hit it high? Yeah. It hit high again. Now we have a different shooter, but the same thing is going on. We got a slug that's really long, and we have a ton of recoil. And I believe that just kind of kicks that nose up, making it climb a little bit, making it shoot high. So it's a good possibility that shooting these from a bench off a sandbag is probably not the best technique when using a smoothbore. All right, we've got our quick crete here. So our top target, we're gonna shoot the regular one ounce slugs. See how deeply it penetrates it. And then probably my last one of the two and a half ouncer, and we'll see what it does to the bottom target. So hopefully this one doesn't destroy it too much and we can still shoot it. As I know, that's what I'm hoping, yeah. <laughs> Hence aiming at the top portion. Yeah, okay. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, does it even recoil? All right, did you think it's gonna go through? Let's find out. It did not. Da -da 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 -da. 
da, 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 da. Oh yeah. No. Okay, good. It, well, <laughs> thank goodness. If it would have gone through, it would have just ruined the whole video. <laughs> <laughs> and now, so now, one last shot. You're good for one more. One more. A two and a half ouncer. See what it happens. I bet most men would not want to shoot more than like one or two of these things. They'd, they'd be done at the first one, you know? Mm. I was kind of taking a chance because I wasn't quite sure if a sack of concrete would stop a foster slug or not. But I definitely like trying different types of targets and some work better than others. And the ones that work out well, uh, other channels end up copying us and using them themselves. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. I'm the one that agreed to do this. Okay, okay. No. I feel so bad. No. <laughs> it's like watching someone get kicked in the head with a mule, you know? Okay, I'm right. I could have very easily said no. Right. I couldn't find anyone else to do it. You got this, Bree. <laughs> okay, whenever you're ready. All right. Full rifling, by the way. Oh, sorry. Oh! <laughs> Full rifling, by the way. Oh! <laughs> I think this test really shows you the difference between a one ounce foster slug and this monstrous two and a half ounce seismic slug. This thing nearly created its own black hole there. Look how the dust is being sucked through it. That's pretty wild. Now I'm notably wrong on so many things and so many predictions, but I'm really glad I was right on this target. It worked out very well. Okay, where did that one hit? High and right. Oh, okay, that's something different. Although I think that's where most of mine. Yeah. Kind of going. But we got it <laughs> but went right through the sack of cement. Pretty obliterated. Did it go through? I'm just happy the the, <laughs> the bag of cement idea actually gave us results that were I was hoping for. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know if a regular foster slug would go through that or not. Well. Then after shooting the foster slug, I wasn't sure if the seismic slug would go through it. Well, it did. It, it worked <laughs> great. It did. But what is your, is this something you'd want to shoot all day long or <laughs> shoot at bears or I don't, dinosaurs? No, no. no. dinosaurs would be appropriate. No. <laughs> I don't know what the know what intended use it. of this is. Yeah, I don't either. Cause yeah, cause like Jamie said, even just carrying it in your pocket, I mean. <laughs> it's just a lot heavy. heavy. It's heavy and that adds up. Yeah. So heavier does hit harder. For sure. <laughs> Although maybe it sure. also hits harder here since the bag. But your shoulder isn't Flip. bruised up. That's the amazing thing. No. Yeah. So we're still. I mean, it hurts to kind of. It's a little it. tiny red, <laughs> but it it's just a tiny bit red. A little tender. We'll see. But you did well. Later. I think most guys would have given up long before you guys did. <laughs> Probably. I would have. Most people. <laughs> Greg would have. <laughs> anyway. It was fun. Yeah, yeah that was, was fun. And. Uh, Definitely out. We, we didn't quite get the smooth bore thing down. I think the no. we had like barrel rise or something going on there, causing the barrel that when it was recoiling, it was tipping it up. That's my theory. Yeah, because yeah. it clearly was not our fault. Right. <laughs> the plane <laughs> taken off. Well, you saw Jamie shoot the foster slug dead on target. Then yeah. And then bullseye bree obviously can shoot. So, so can you. You did great. I mean, that was a, <laughs> you had the most accurate shot of the day. Yeah. <laughs> and that concludes the testing of the two and a half ounce seismic quake maker slug. Now the question I have for you is what would you use these for? Would you use them for home defense? Maybe hunting brontosaurus or I don't know, Cape Buffalo? Let us know in the comments section. I'd love to hear. Oh, that second one.